Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy whatever day this is. So I found a book in my library, my Kindle library, that doesn't appear to have its standalone video. I think I did it on a, my first live stream or something. Anyway, it's a ladybird book called How It Works. The Dog. The dog is often called man's best friend. Dogs are reliable, loyal and lovely, like all best friends. They also smell like a bobble hat full of corned beef that's been left on the parcel shelf of a locked car for a fortnight during a hot spell. But there are some things you don't mention to a best friend. Some people say dogs can start to resemble their owners. Thin people have thin dogs. Happy people have happy dogs. This dog's owner is an award-winning Viennese rapper come architect who collects antique surgical equipment and likes to put flowers in his salad. Dogs can be trained as special helpers for people with many sorts of conditions. Toto is training to be an asthma dog for people allergic to dog hair. Tomorrow, she's being varnished and sealed before meeting her new owner. Oh. Maisie and Joey are in the garden. Everyone watches while Joey runs in energetic circles. They cannot understand what he's doing. Joey is chasing air around the garden, of course. Siobhan only buys Columbo the best food. It is grain-free, single-protein, holistic, hypoallergenic and certified organic. You love it, don't you, boy, says Siobhan. Columbo does love the food, but he would just as happy to eat his own sick. <laughs> Dog and man have been friends for many thousands of years. Dognold is going to bury his owner's dinner in the garden in case any hyenas or jackals or saber-toothed tigers come and try to steal it. Dognold. Kill name. Oscar knows that if he pops his head up on one side of a human's chair, he will get a little bit of what the human is eating. Then if he pops his head up on the other side of her chair, he will count as a different dog who's not had any food yet. Dogs are cleverer than humans, thinks Oscar. Catch a ball, Mop Top, says Richard. Richard does not throw the ball. Mop Top runs for a few yards, then comes back for more wagging his tail. Richard wishes anything else he did in his life could make anyone as happy as not throwing a ball makes Mop Top. <coughs> Littleton is confused. There are two non-dogs in his bedroom. Now his bedroom will smell of the non-dogs. Littleton will have to make his bedroom smell nice again by weeing all over it. <laughs> Pippin loves her new toy. She chews it and chews it. And chews it and chews it and chews it and chews it. And choose it and choose it and choose it. And choose it and choose it and choose it and choose it. And choose it. She will lose all interest when she finds out there's no meat inside. George Harrison, one of the Beatles, was a devout Hindu. Hindus believe in reincarnation, that they will come back to life in another form. This might be George Harrison. If so, George Harrison likes the ball. Laura comes home and finds that Muffin has had a little accident in the kitchen. She shouts at him and rubs his nose in it. Muffin wonders what has upset Lorna. He decides it was the noise the front door made just now when Lorna came in. Muffin goes and scratches the door to teach it a lesson, but Lorna shouts at him again. Poor Muffin can get nothing right. Oh. Steve's wife said he should walk rather than get the bus. I don't need to, says Steve. I did 11,000 steps with Barney in the park this morning. Steve doesn't mention that he attached his Fitbit to Barney's collar while he slumped on a bench <laughs> with a Cumberland sausage bat. <laughs> Good one. So far this week, Jenna's dog Trumpshaw has eaten a sweat sock, a pair of in-ear headphones, the contents of the brown recycling bin and an aromatherapy candle. Good boy, Trumpshaw, says Jenna, when he drops a hat at her feet without eating it. Jenna hopes this does not mean Trubshaw has eaten a cob's account. <laughs> Once a week, Patsy vacuums up all the dog hair in her house. Once a week? Jesus Christ, I need to do it every day. When she has finished the sofa, she will do the carpets inside the oven, in the powder tray of the washing machine, between the pages of the book she's reading, and behind the wallpaper. How did it get there? laughs Patsy, coughing up a hairball. 
Dogs do many jobs for man. They have been trained to hunt, guard, retrieve, track and herd. Biggins has been trained not to bark while Vince steals a lamb and not to eat the lamb until Vince has catharoled it. <laughs> Ali and Joe's babies are called Bubble and Squeak. They have booties, jumpers and bow ties and at their joint birthday party they both wore tiaras. Ali and Joe go to church every Sunday because they hope to get Bubble and Squeak into a Catholic obedience school. Marlborough Perignon Kerwiz is a pedigree dog. She's the highly prized result of many years of careful inbreeding. Her owners, the Duke and Duchess of Beaumars, are the result of a similar process. <laughs> the first animal to orbit the Earth was a dog called Laika. Dogs are good at orbiting, as long as they've been trained not to stick their head out of the window. Dogs change over time. In the 16th century, this Prussian tin house shiny coat was highly prized and the animal was bred to exaggerate it. A modern tin <laughs> A modern tin house played the part of K9 in Doctor Who. <laughs> John is dog sitting. Pickles keeps barking at the fridge. It can't be these sausages, thinks John, because there's a dog called a sausage and a sausage called a hot dog. Dogs are not cannibals. John gets Pickles a lovely plate of butter. Pickles cannot wait for John's sister to get out of hospital. John is really not a dog person. <laughs> Benji has found something. It looks like a spiky mouse, thinks Benji. I bet it's good to play with. It is not good for Benji or for Benji's owner, but it is good for the vet, whose bell is over £400. Doris Big Dog Pugwash has frightened the little girl in the park. Pugwash would not frighten anyone, says Dora. The little girl was frightened, said the policeman. Well, he never frightens me, said Dora. The policeman can see in Dora's eyes that the case is closed. Beano dreams he's been invited to a party to celebrate the defeat of the human oppressor. Those fools, laughs the cat in charge. How did they not guess we'd been planning their overthrow for tens of thousands of years? Why did they think we agreed to live in their awful hot homes? Beano doesn't understand the politics, but he's delighted to be allowed up on the furniture. The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the wee bell notification. And a huge big thank you to all my subscribers, patrons and members. See you next week. Bye bye.